Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to define a few more things. Those are sample spaces and factorials. Now sample spaces are just a particular kind of set. Remember set was a conglomeration of elements. But in specific, a sample space is a set whose elements describe the outcome or outcomes, it could be more than one, that's why I put an arrow there, it could be plural, of the experiment of interest. So we're going to do a test, we're going to do an experiment, and there are certain kinds of outcomes we can have. Those certain types of outcomes are going to be the elements of the set, and that set is then called the sample space. The sample space encompasses all the possible outcomes. For example, when we toss a coin, the outcomes are that we can either get a head or a tail, so those are the two elements, those are the only two outcomes we can have in this experiment, so therefore that's the sample space, including all of the elements, all the possible outcomes. For example, let's say that we have a sample space that includes all the months of the year, and we have a student in our class, and we're trying to determine what, what the month that student was born in. Now the only possible outcomes would be these 12 months, there's no other than the 12 months there, so that encompasses all the possible outcomes, so therefore this is the sample space, the set of all the possible outcomes of the experiment, the test, determining what month a student is born in. Now determine the various ways and the number of ways that we can line up three colored marbles. Now that's a different kind of uh, sample space. So what are all the possible ways in which we can take three different color marbles and line them up in a certain order? Well, let's say we have a red one, a blue one, and a green one. So we can have red first, then blue, then green, or red first, then green, then blue, or the blue first, then green, red, and so forth. And notice there are six different possibilities in which way we can line up those three colored marbles. The way we can find out how many possibilities there are, we can simply say the number of elements, the number of outcomes or possibilities is equal to the number of marbles that we have, in this case three, factorial. Now what does that mean factorial? Well if there's three factorial then we multiply the number one times the number two times the number three. Sometimes they start with number three and work their way down, doesn't really matter as long as you multiply them together. So three factorial is one times two times three, when you add all that up or when you multiply all that together you get six. So therefore there are six possible outcomes Therefore, there are six elements in this particular sample space. What if you add another marble? Now you have four of them. Let's say the fourth, the fourth marble is now yellow. So now we have a yellow, a blue, a green, and a red marble. How many different ways can we line them up? And again, you can start out by putting the yellow first, then the red, then the blue, then the green, then the yellow, red, green, blue, and so forth. How many possibilities are there? Well, in that case there's four marbles, so you say four factorial is the total number of outcomes, the total number of elements, four factorial is one times two times three times four, which is equal to 24, so there are 24 different ways in which you can line up four different color marbles. What about five different color marbles? That would be five factorial, Ooh, that would be 120 different ways. So that's how we determine that, and that's what we mean by sample spaces and factorial. So those are Another couple of things that you need to remember, know the definition of, in order to understand probability and statistics. That's how we do that.